We bought a game! <laughs> Quick update for the morning. We've um, completely stripped it now. Everything of that old basin's out except for the pipe work. I've got to get some stuff from Bunnings to bung the ends underneath and then I'll cut it and pull them out. Um, everything's out from here. Still got the old support from the other bed and that bit of wood there I could not get out. So I'm going to use it for a bit of strength for the uh, new bunks. I'll make it work, I suppose. Um, got to get all these staples out, so we'll give them a good pull, I suppose, or maybe hit them back in. And then, yeah, the batteries I'd love to relocate to underneath that couch there, just to get the weight, more, more of the weight over the axle, but never mind. It's the old girl. <laughs> you got to sand this wall back too. Uh. What's Sarah's thoughts? Can't wait. Finish the sanding in this area, which is here. Um, and I've given it all wiped down so it's basically ready to paint now and I'm very dusty um, so yeah we're gonna rip the vinyl up this morning um, because Jason wants to start building the bed so I want the vinyl to be all the way through so we're gonna pull this old vinyl out and use it as a template for the new vinyl which we bought yesterday um, yeah that's about it and hopefully we'll start painting soon Yay! one of my jobs this morning is this wall it's a little bit of a little bit of damage you look in there i don't know if you can see it but there's a heap of dust and stuff that's making that wall bulge so i reckon i'll get the vacuum cleaner down there maybe undo an extra pot rivet and try and get all that out i should be able to just pot rivet it back on and we'll just make it work because i don't want to go pulling that wall off so fun Stay tuned. See how the progress goes. Jason, out. <laughs> and this is coming away from there. I just don't want to push too hard. Get... Can't get in there and get that bit off. Go for something a bit smaller then. But yeah, if you just pull that up. Perhaps this one's to stay. Mm -hmm. Although it looks like he's cut the vinyl out around it. Yeah. I love you that ladder. So we're replacing this now, are we? I don't know, it's still savable. Is it though? The problem is, this couch is like sunk into it, so the couch is further back than that. I could get all that to stick back properly. Alright, but then we're going to have to do about the crack. Oh, that, we can make that. Looks like it's not there. Sorry, but... and all I could do is put a block of wood behind that, half that out of it. Preparing the wall, not like the most professional job in the world, but basically I don't want to have to replace this hole from there to there. I don't really have to replace it because the couch is in the way, this unit here is in the way, this top is in the way, so if we can just make it look good, I think it'll be worth it. I think it's because the couch has pushed that in just underneath the bracket. It's just going to have a little hump there, but it should sit pretty flush. And I broke the wall. I broke it. A bit devastating, but we should be able to just give it a sand back and um, throw some of the... Back 
spectacular. Spectacular. Good old spectacular. Come on, okay. I've got to change the head. Right. Put that in there. Oh, look at that. Like I bought one. I'll just put one in there with that. And go there. Alright. Now we should do this slight, the smart way. What, what that involves is me going out here and get a squirt. Hey, Hello. This area is nearly ready. Pull all this final out today. Woo! Hi. If you've been looking for your square old mate, old Gazza. You're not getting it back. <laughs> you got Gary Lloyd's my uncle. I'm still not getting his square back. I don't know where I got it from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One can only hope that I won't go through some 240 volt. Oh my god, don't say that. I should miss it. Is there electrical in there? Yeah. I can miss it by about 100 mil. Oh, great. Right here, going through there is electrical. What are you doing, Jason? I'm just going to catch the bee. He passes with pot rivets. These ones? Yep. Yeah. Look a little bit neater, aren't I? It's a shame. I don't think you're ever going to get it completely flat. I think even if we replaced it, if we replaced it, we wouldn't get it flat. So what do you reckon? I reckon one there and one there. Well, I actually yeah, made that hole a little bit too big, so. Okay. Plus, don't forget that there'll be a strip here. Yeah, true. Yeah. Very good. Pot rivets. Pot rivet lady. Pot rivet lady, hey? Good enough. What do you reckon? Can you, you can't put any there, can you? No, nah, because there's nothing there. No, there's a, there's one there and one there. Well, it's going to have to be good enough, I guess. There's always going to be made of it. Oh, it's mainly just this bulge here, but you said that's because of the couch, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get away from that. I don't know. It'll do. Once it's all painted and decorated, I don't think it'll be that obvious. Do you can put a pot rivet there just because that's where it's broken? Can do. Right on the joiner. Or maybe slightly under it. Yeah. Crack it more. One more pot rivet, please, pot rivet lady. Job done. Job done. That's a wrap. Cool. You can put the window frame back on. Got the screws. Yeah. We put them somewhere. 
So I'm going to say, this might be them here. Is there three screws? Are they the screws? I reckon they're the screws. Not that the screws. Yep. Oh. Except I accidentally bogged up the hole, so. <laughs> Sprout. Just put that last screw in. Spack filler works. Good, good, old, good old spack filler. We're going to need one there. Eh? Yeah, I think so. I don't know why there's not one already there. She'll be right. Mm. Good as gold. It's not very um flash Jason. Nor is that one though, and that one's like a factory, you know, obviously. I don't know. That work out really well. It'll have to do. But it looks a lot better than what I did. It does. I'm trying to be happy with that. So yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's as good as it's gonna get. Alright. What's next? Sand. Sand? Sand all. So what are we doing here, Sarah? I am just taping up the window frame. Getting ready to start painting. So obviously we'll paint this as well. Straight lines. Claims to be accurate. Change around your style. My style. My style is sticking tape on. It's very stylish uh, tape sticking. Basically, an expert. Basically. What are you doing, Pete? Hey? What are you up to? Should we just use all the other windows and we'll just leave it on as is? Yeah, well. Maybe you paint that one first. Oops. Sarah. Oh, I just, saying, to it. just after you told everyone that you're basically an expert. That's what I just said. Right. We don't need ventilation. It's fine. No, especially not with toxic paint. That would just be silly. You wouldn't get the full effect. Should we pull this final up? <laughs> All right. Thank you. 
your hand to because you bend it, you just need it to come that wide. Yeah. So I can you can always just do the last bit of cutting once it's in. Question is, can we get this side up? Oh, and it's under there. Oh, oh no, he's built the shower on top of it. We're just going to have to cut it. We'll have to cut it. I think we'll have to cut it. I think we'll have to cut it. Cut it. Yeah, do you want me to cut it? Yes. Jason's going to cut it. I'll do the cut. Pete's not very happy at the moment. Not happy with the situation, are you, Pete? No. We're nearly finished. Almost. I'm so stoked about the situation. You might be able to get that bit up, just see. Yeah, the other bit has to come up. But I think we're going to have to take that out anyway, I mean. It's not structural because there's not one on the other side. Where is bolted from under there? Because they're like big. I wonder what the purpose of that was. I don't know. You just undo it and the whole caravan falls apart. We're going to have to have a look. Yeah, take this with you. Is it, ro is it rolling? Oh, pretty. Oh, look at the tears. Poor little fella. Hey, See how we go. Obviously the showers have held in by them as well. Done. No more vinyl. I can't believe we're going to replace all this. Food. It's gonna suck. Yeah, but it's gonna look good, Jace. It is. Oh. Now we just have to, you know, cut out the new bit to the right shape and um, somehow get it in here without ripping it. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? Can't say I'm looking forward to. Um, See all these corners? The plan is to get the old piece of vinyl out on a flat surface somewhere and use it as a template. Ah. 
Um, yeah, and use that as a template for the new bit of vinyl. Mm. And cut it out from there. Cute. And then we have to try and get it back in again. It's gonna be hard. Where are we going to cut it out? I have no idea. The ideal spot is where we are currently currently standing, where the caravan is parked. We might be able to do it on the top lawn if we move your car. Otherwise, <clears throat> clean up out the back maybe. Carport. It's like. It's not really big enough. Mm. Six and a half meters long. So what we're doing next? We're gonna take the hot water heater out. We have to do it at some stage. No. Let's do it. Let's do something. Okay. Look at that. Shame it's so rusty. So it's actually a pretty good um, hot water system. Yeah. Anyway, first things first. Got to get underneath it and somehow disconnect some hot water, hot and cold water. I reckon if I. Pull this. I'm gonna wear it. There you go. It's like the GoPro is waterproof. <laughs> but that is coming directly out of the hot water system. By rights, that should have. Um, that should have drained it. I'm pretty sure. Um. That's at the bottom. Okay, that's the gas. That is the watch. Oh. I got the GoPro wet. <laughs> I got all the GoPro and everything wet. Disconnected the water and it just like <laughs> straight all over it. <laughs> Jason's just gone down to Auto One to get a hitch lock. So I'm just about to, I've got both the kids out here, so I can't do anything noisy. So I'm just gonna try and see if I can pull this off without doing too much damage. So this whole backdrop, this is the window, um, but the whole splash back, so all of this, we're gonna pull this out and then hopefully put the tic-tac tiles on this, which are like, they look like tiles, but they're actually, I think, laminate or vinyl. Um, and they just stick straight on here so apparently they're quite easy to put on hopefully um but yeah so that's what i'm going to do and pull this off Very 
they don't want to do too much damage to the mermaid that's behind it because it's going to be like a nice flat surface to stick our tiles on. This was something Why? that was added on by the previous owner, but now I'm no, starting to think no, that maybe it, it was original because it's not glued on with liquid nails, it's like really stuck. Or well, maybe it is liquid nails. I don't really know. But anywho, I might have to wait till Jason gets back because I'm not having a lot of luck and I don't want to break anything. And I've already kind of can see a bit of a dent there already. It's never as easy as you think it's going to be. Duncan's cleaning. This is, yeah, it's doing some damage, but there's no other way to get it off. But we have to take, oh, there we go, nearly. Literally got to get every bit that it's stuck and slide this down and pull it off. See, that's what I was trying to avoid. What a mission. So, done a bit of damage, but let's see, this is all black. Come away, but never mind. Hopefully, it is salvageable. Hopefully we can still manage to stick our tiles on here. Oh, yeah, no. Now I've got to try and get this bit off. Yay! It is so hot in here. I'm cooking. I might have to turn the air on. Take two. Oh boy. Wow. 
going to need a new bit of frame to go around the new water heater. Because that's like falling down. Hello! Seems to be a hole in our caravan. We're gonna get in there. Yep, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>